Welcome to Auto Reverse, the show where we do a deep dive into hip hop's most influential mixtapes. I'm your host, DJ Ryan Fresh. If this is your first time watching the show, feel free to hit the subscribe button on the channel, uh, like this video, or comment about it. I would love to hear from first time watchers of the program. Today's episode is about the big homie, King Most, and his debut mixtape, Phonography. For those who don't know, King Most is a Bay Area remixer, super sick on the cuts, and just an all around nice guy. He also has a reputation for being an impeccable party rocker. I've known King Mo since I was about 16 years old, and so that's over two decades of fuckery between the two of us. Taking out my friendship with him, the dude is just a beast on the turntables, and like I said, just an all-around nice guy. I can't think of another DJ who uh, I'm touched as a peer of mine, uh, just by virtue of the fact of how supportive he is. Uh, not just to me, but to anybody that he comes into contact with and has like a really good rapport with. He is very much the champion of the working class DJ, the DIY DJs. And you can get a sense of this from his podcast opening set, which I will post a link down below. There truly is so much to talk about. And so let's get into the episode. Here we go. King Most, Phonography. I'd like to know, are you really ready for some super dynamite? Even taking my friendship with the Bay Area based DJ out of this, King Most is easily one of the best DJs out there. Full stop. Period. One of the things I admire about the man is his drive. The King of Most has been at the DJ game for as long as I've known him, which is over 20 years, and he's easily the hardest working disc jock that I know. All that said, today's mixtape is his debut, Phonography, under his former moniker, King One. On top of being a really dope mixtape put together on a multi-track recorder, King Most had the blueprint for a DJ release that had everything. Exclusive songs, drops, scratches, remixes. It was all here on this 90 minute opus. Released in 2000, Phonography is a timestamp of a special time in hip hop DJing. Anything goes, emblazoned with the vinyl exchange logo, King Most's mixtape already had a hell of a cosign. To give this some context, Vinyl Exchange was to DJs as the source was to rappers. It was a physical newsletter, which expanded to a greater audience during the first wave of the dot-com boom. The Vinyl Exchange's founder, DJ Steph, gave web space to seasoned vets such as Cut Chemist, Repmatic, and Cubert, and was also an early stomping ground for new jacks like myself and King Most. The partnership really came from an amazing friendship we had when I was super young. I was a huge fan of Vinyl Exchange, and it really shaped me into who I'd become. Since DJ Steph was always down to go to things, and I had a car, we hung pretty tight for a while. I had no idea about what club life was beyond the music when I went. My interest, for the most part, was watching the DJ. A student of the game, King Most laid out his best essays and remixes all over this tape. All I can do is stay up. Was a 
flake like corn And I was born not to understand But in the past I have proved to be a better man Remixing started when I first heard radio DJs make blends on their late night shows and it ramped up when up-and-coming producers started making their bootlegs of remixes, as well as the flood of quality remixers that were on the major labels. I didn't have a sampler when I made phonography, so a lot of it was sourcing the obscure instrumentals, and since all those aforementioned DJs were coming with the super clever and produced ideas, I wanted to do the same. Adding to the cuts and remixes, King Mo stacked the mixtape even more with the freestyle from Antscon members Soul and Pedestrian. The year was when we had friends for letters and we looked out of curtains at big sevens like trees but like where we would have left hmm, something of a makeshift writer's workshop Bible buried well, there tonight I was supposed to intoxicate my mom but the only thing coming to me is the fact that these walls are pushing in pressure in, pushing up against the thoughts that I'm trying to compress convey convey something of your to the artist into the chair but nobody's there not quite an audience isn't it hardly there before I guess I would have already got to find a hard grasp but still gripping now a syllabus out of the long with this never take with nothing short and everybody Take the time, get out of your fucking selves. Everybody for your minds out, take your brain out in the trash bag. Everybody time to recycle. I occasionally went to their house in Oakland to kick it, and one day I was like, um, I have this mixtape, and that was that. A childhood friend actually made the beat for me. I brought him Pharaoh Sanders' Creator Has a Master Plan to loop, and a drum break from a Johnny Hammond record. I completely remember recording that in the pedestrian's bedroom. Personally, I have fond memories of this tape. I remember King Mo sending me a press release for it, as well as hearing it in my car for the first time. There's something special about watching one of your friends pour their heart into a great piece of art and having people enjoy it. We ventured out into Vancouver, Canada on his trip out here, and I watched him cut up extra covers because he sold some tapes to the now defunct hip hop store, Fuck What You Heard. King Mo is a rare groove, inasmuch as in the world of DJing, oftentimes things are driven by ego. He's driven by the art and has found success on his own terms. He's friendly and a real person. We don't get that enough. But just as much as he laid the blueprint for DJ life, he continues to inspire for life beyond the turntables. And that's it for today's episode of Auto Reverse. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. As per usual, you can check out all the upcoming dates that I have on my website, ryanfresh.com. And as we're heading into wedding and private party season, I'm also taking bookings. Uh, you can also, again, hit me up on that site or email me here. And I'm available on these social media platforms. Again, if this is your first time watching the show, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and again, leave a comment. What other mixtapes should I cover in the future? Uh, what other kinds of DJ videos should I do? Anyway, that's all I have for now. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Uh, I'm out. Peace.